All right, I'm gonna introduce the next speaker, um, Matt Wilden, who's gonna speak on one year of small town bot. That's right. Hello, everyone. I will attempt to follow that. All right, uh, welcome everybody. I'm gonna spend uh, the next five minutes chatting about a, a, an afternoon kind of weekend project I had where I wanted to stand up a Mastodon bot to see if I could trick people into mapping things. Um, there's, some, there's a fact that we've known for a long time as a species, it is that nature abhors a vacuum. If we wanna update that for our local space, mappers abhor a vacuum, they absolutely do. They hate the map when it is empty, um, and so, that was the genesis of this project called, I call Small Town Bot. Um, so once a day, I have a little program that runs and it finds a small town in the United States. The criteria we use is anything that is a place node inside of OpenStreetMap that has a population uh, tag that is a thousand or lower. And then it goes and it queries overpass and it will post a town as soon as it finds one of these that has 10 or fewer buildings mapped nearby. And those are sort of tuned, it doesn't really matter as it turns out, I thought I'd have to like fight with that a lot. Um, one of the things that is true is it does not have to look very hard. It is only it has to look to two or three places to find a thing that needs to be posted. And so all that exists um, on the, the uh, OSM Mastodon instance, um, en.osm.town, and so you can just go click there and follow along, and its first post was on March 10th, and let's, uh, let's take a look at the first post. Okay, so the first post was, uh, well, I assume that's Palestine, because that that, that's how we pronounce those things here in the United States. Um, and I included a couple of things about the building count and whether there were roads that needed reviewing for Tiger Review. Um, this is not like a super engaging post, so I actually did another afternoon of work where I went and queried Carto to post exactly how barren this place was on the map, because I figured that would be uh, a bit more motivating for folks. Um, I also did another post um, because it's also really nice to have a sense of community and find other people who are doing those things. So another, uh, another thing you really want to do with these projects is to have a hashtag people can include in their change sets because that flows into the downstream change set places so you can go see and find other people who are doing that. Um, the bot will run, also run every hour and find anybody who's replied to one of these posts saying that they've mapped it and it will try to go query Carto again to give you a new image. People really love to post before and afters when they do a bunch of great work. Um, and that's, um, that's difficult for a lot of people to do who are just going in and doing just random mapping, but that's a, that's a, a service the bot offers. Um, it has posted you know, about 400 of these now. Here's uh, every place in the United States that it has posted. Um, let's take a look at a few of them. This is Kansas, Alabama. I love all of these that are state, comma, state. Um, there's a lot of small towns of this shape, apparently. Um, so some folks like to go in and they will just add, the, they've added lovely land cover here, you can see. Um, you get uh, a lot of folks adding buildings or um, things like that. Um, the, the amount of mapping varies um, from day to day, but uh, a lot of times people do get some stuff. Um, here's another one in Utah. Got to pick one for the local crowd. Anyone from Altamont? No? I don't know what the population of that is, but... Um, occasionally, a couple of folks will use the Mastodon um, replies as a way of sort of like coordinating their work. They'll say, I want to work on the buildings, and you can do this, and I can do that. And so uh, one of those was uh, a couple of mappers got together for this one, and um, they actually did an insane amount of mapping in the next four hours after this got posted. And they added about 500 buildings, all this lovely land use. Um, you can actually see on the uh, on the after slide there, they, they went to the town boundary and just stopped there. They didn't want to do any land use north of there. So if you want to go fill that in, um, it's empty just above this. Um, let's look at some stats real quick. Um, it's posted about 400 towns. Um, the most surprising stat of all of this is there are only 38 towns on that list that are still unmapped, according to our statistics. So. Um, it's pretty cool to just see that you don't have to do a ton of work. You don't have to do anything particularly sophisticated. You just have to kind of point out that there's work to be done and folks will just go and do it and have a good time doing all those things. Um, I've been pondering why this works so well. One of the things is that the call to action in the bot is just like 
please do something. There's nothing like particularly specific, so it's not like, oh, I don't know how to map railways. I don't know how to do this. It's just like, oh, do some mapping. Um, the imagery in the United States is all really good, so you know people don't have to like worry about fighting with that kind of stuff. Um, people love to add stuff, changing stuff, fighting with stuff, figuring out stuff is like actually real is more annoying than just adding. Um, there's been a couple of other folks who have found this and said, oh, maybe we can run this in France, maybe we can run this in Latvia, maybe we can do this, maybe we can do that. Um, I would love to make this sort of like extensible for other communities that want to run this thing. Um, I'd be happy to run it for them. And uh, yeah, that's it. So thank you. And uh, there's the 38 if you want to get on those.